Every day, incredible strides are being made in the study of astronomy. New technologies are being created, new objects are being discovered, and current understandings are being shifted. Although we don't tend to think of the practical impact of space exploration, there is certainly never a dull moment in the study of astronomy. So today, here at Unexplained Mysteries, we share three recent discoveries and the impact that they have on us here on Earth. A dozen ultra-high-energy particle accelerators discovered in the Milky Way. As we move further and further into the 21st century, once modern and cutting-edge questions have become 100-year-old puzzles we are yet to unravel. So, it goes without saying how exciting it is when we manage to inch our way closer to some sort of scientific revelation. In 1912, we uncovered cosmic rays. We know that they come from nearly every direction in our galaxy, the Milky Way. Cosmic rays are charged particles with atomic nuclei that can reach speeds approaching the speed of light as they move through space. While we have uncovered a fair bit about these mysterious rays, we are yet to find out how we get to these sky-high speeds in the first place. Some scientists have suggested that cosmic rays begin their space travels as they are propelled away from stars that faded during supernova explosions. Astrophysicist Siming Lu, who works at the Southwest Zhao Tong University in Chengdu, explained that when this occurs, the sheer amount of energy these stars release in just two months matches that which has been released throughout the entire lifespan of the star before that point. Lu continued, explaining that this has been a somewhat dominant theory, but does not account for all cosmic rays. Furthermore, observatories have found ultra-high energy cosmic rays that have a greater amount of energy than what can be provided in an explosion of this kind. Complicating this mystery further is the interaction of these charged cosmic rays with magnetic fields. Magnetic fields, which are plenty common within our galaxy, deflect the rays as they approach. Unfortunately for our researchers, this means that a cosmic ray as seen on Earth cannot be traced backwards to the origin of the ray. One aspect of these cosmic rays that can give scientists a helping hand, however, is the gamma rays produced as cosmic rays enter the gases around them. Gamma rays are not charged, meaning they are not disrupted by magnetic fields and can be traced backwards in a straight line to where they began. This gives Lu and his colleagues an opportunity to trace back potential sources of cosmic rays. The team used China's Large High Altitude Air Shower Observatory to study the cosmic rays indirectly via their gamma ray light. Following a series of observations, the team located 12 potential sources, named Pevatrons, over our galaxy. Each one of these alone is at least 100 times more powerful than the largest particle accelerator we have on Earth. With the equipment available, we are not at a point where we can begin to locate the Pevatron natural particle accelerators thousands of light years away, so it is not conclusive where or what the precise cause is exactly. Nonetheless, this is groundbreaking research that will continue to bring us closer, one step at a time, to answering a question that has been on many a mind for over a century. Supermassive Black Hole Eruption Near Earth The thing about black holes is that they are hard to see and generally exist millions of light years away from Earth. But recently, astronomers were able to observe and capture images of one of the most comprehensive and visible black hole eruptions to date. This was accomplished through recordings taken by the Murchison Widefield Array Telescope in the outback of Western Australia of the radio emissions from the black hole closest to Earth, which is located about 12 million light years away in the galaxy Centaurus A. This eruption was not a small one by any means either. The emissions were measured as spanning 8 degrees across the sky, which is roughly the length of 16 of Earth's moons laid side by side in space. This supermassive black hole, which is the closest known actively feeding black hole to Earth, lies at the heart of Centaurus A and contains an almost unbelievable mass of over 50 million of our suns. Its emissions span an enormous area and generate radio waves as material is sucked into the heart of the black hole. 
Dr. Benjamin McKinley, lead author of a new study detailing the findings of these images, explains that the emissions form a disk around the black hole, and as the matter gets ripped apart getting close to the black hole, powerful jets form on either side of the disk, ejecting most of the material back out into space, to distances of probably more than a million light-years. Previous radio observations could not handle the extreme brightness of the jets, and details of the larger area surrounding the galaxy were distorted, but our new image overcomes these limitations. Essentially, researchers hope to learn more about black holes and their emissions through these incredibly clear images, which combined much of the latest technology in order to generate one of the clearest examples of black hole emissions that scientists have been able to obtain to date. This new information has already spawned several new ideas and corroborated the earlier theory known as the chaotic cold accretion theory, which is relevant to several fields of science. Black holes are viewed by the emissions that they put out and the gravitational pull that they exert on surrounding objects. This means that the dense, lively holes are all but invisible because they absorb all wavelengths. So researchers count themselves incredibly lucky that they were able to capture such clear images of the enormous emissions from this black hole. They hope that they will be able to use this information in order to gain a clearer understanding of what makes up black holes and how they operate within the universe and space, leading to the eventual demystification of one of the most enduring mysterious elements of the cosmos. KELT 11b A few of our planets have acquired fun nicknames over time. Mars is the red planet due to its colour, and Mercury is the swift planet thanks to its quick orbiting of the Sun. Though it seems that exoplanets are also beginning to don nicknames, with KELT 11b earning the title of Puffiest Planet. KELT 11b is an exoplanet, namely a celestial object that has a confirmed planetary status but is simply not within our solar system. We have been detecting exoplanets since 1992, though there has been a shift to focus more on exoplanets than other areas of interplanetary research within recent years. Lately, some astronomers have theorized that if exoplanets have similar conditions to Earth, for example being in its star's habitable zone and having liquid water on the surface, then it is possible that they could host extraterrestrial life. Of course, this is not true of all exoplanets. In 2016, Astronomers found an exoplanet orbiting the subgiant star KELT-11. This planet earned the catchy name of KELT-11b and is an inflated planet, hence its puffiest title. This inflated nature is due to it orbiting so closely to its star. In terms of size, KELT-11b is rather impressive, with a radius of 1.37 times that of Jupiter. While these dimensions are rather large, the mass of this exoplanet is surprisingly low as it clocks in at just 90% of Jupiter's mass. Dr. Pepper, an astronomer at Lehigh University, likened the density of this planet to styrofoam. It is relatively rare that we are able to gather this much information on an exoplanet, though the measurements were relatively accessible thanks to the brightness of the star the puffiest planet orbits. It was the kilodegree Extremely Little Telescope, or KELT, that was used to detect this exoplanet. There are tons of interesting planets just beyond our horizons that we hardly notice. While we spend so long looking for planets that are like Earth, it is entirely possible we have missed so many gems like KELT 11b, just hidden away behind a star a little less bright than this one. But what do you make of these recent discoveries? Be sure to let us know your thoughts in the comment section below and help us grow this community while working to solve these unexplained mysteries. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe for more videos.